Good morning, Zio here. This morning we're going to talk about Psionic, Epic Games, and Rocket League. From a story I meant to talk about and haven't gotten around to it. So, um, with all that, let's just get into it, shall we? Of course, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that now. We're growing every single day. We always add somebody, at least throughout the week. Uh, <laughs> but I'll go ahead and give it a like, share the video out there. Let's get more people. Come on, I want to play some games. I want to do some streaming. I want people to show up. That'd be great, right? Okay, no? All right. Well, it was worth a shot. Anyway, today we talk about Rocket League. Um, Sometimes I, I wonder about some of these companies because, um, you know, it feels like they take a step forward and then they go ahead and they take two massive steps back in the same process. And, you know, sometimes it's calculated. Sometimes it feels like it's just purely by accident or it's just, you know, they, they weren't expecting it or whatever. But this one, th this feels like a calculated move, to be totally honest, like... You know, they meant to do this on purpose so they can somehow still come out on top. <laughs> we'll get into why that is. But uh, in August, uh, apparently they released a statement saying that we will be deciding to remove the surprise mechanics uh, crates from Rocket League. And for me, you know, I'm a big fan of losing things like surprise mechanics and loot boxes and the such that um, I think that's a great idea, right? I, I would be out here going, oh, that's great, cool, sweet, um, awesome. Because I utterly hate loot boxes. <laughs> um, what they did, however, <laughs> To replace these loot boxes was kind of utterly disgusting in a way. It's that we've taken a step forward thing, yet we've taken two steps back in the other direction, apparently. But uh, Rocket League did remove it, and people aren't happy. See, in-game, there was apparently an in-game trading system thing as well. And it had a economy running around it, which is pretty good. Uh, when games do give you that option for in-game tradings and stuff like that, usually an economy does, you know, blossom from it. And, um, you know, when you mess with that economy, you know, players get a bit touchy. <laughs> we'll, we'll just go with that. But it seems like they were having a pretty good thing where they could put things on cells for keys. Keys then are in turn used to open more loot boxes. And then that stuff out of the loot boxes then go back up for sale for more keys. And it was a nice little system where, you know, even if you didn't have anything, if you wound up getting something that's more worth more than one key in a loot box, you could at least sell that, get more keys, get more loot boxes, and then have this infinite loop going on to where, you know, eventually you'll get something really nice or, you know, you could sell something that's really nice that you don't want. And have something going. And uh, in a attempt to mitigate the damage, of course, Rocket League did convert those keys into something known as credits, which is the new system. The new system is going to be credits. And um, whether or not these players got, you know, worth their keys worth in credits is another story. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, as of update 1.7, gets rid of everything related to crates, keys, and replacing the system with a shop where you can spend credits on specific items. You can use them to craft the new blueprints. Which, yeah, the whole blueprint thing is a little weird, to be honest. Um, j just on me. Yeah, that thing is weird. A, a blueprint drops, you can see what it is, and then you can pay credits to go ahead and take care of making said blueprint, I prefer a store where I can go in and go, oh, I like that skin. Oh, 
It's five bucks. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. That's what I like. <laughs> I don't like this random dropping of things like blueprints and other stuff. Even though you get to see what's on the blueprint, then it just feels, I don't know, it doesn't feel as rewarding as, to be totally honest, a loot box at that point. <laughs> Um, when a, if you dropped a loot box, at least then it could be anything. I mean, it could be a new boat for all you know. But, uh, you know, when, when it's a blueprint that it's something you don't want, you know, and then you got to keep it, you know, or get rid of it or something like that, trash it. I don't really like that system. Anyway, but uh, now you will, uh, now your $1 will net you at least the least desirable items. And you still need to shell out a minimum of five for the 500 credits, the smallest bundle, which is, of course, another thing that I hate about a lot of these systems. You know, I've played games where you can straight up spend, say, uh, they, they're selling something for $2.99 and you could buy or you could just pay $2.99 and get your item and boom, you're good, right? But then other games like to go... A lot of games like to go, oh, this item is 500 credits. In order for you to get, you know, the 500 credits, we're going to trip you some credits while playing the game, right? So you've got 123 or whatever, um, you know, or, or 332 or something like that. Something weird, something odd. And you really, really want that item. However... Um, the only way for you to get enough credits to actually get said item is to buy the smallest $10 pack for 10,000 credits. And that's, of course, going, you know, a dollar equals 100 credits or something like that. So, <laughs> yeah, you're then forced to buy, pay 10 bucks into something that you only need it like two more dollars for in order to properly afford. Or, you know, that would be the equivalent of, say, five bucks but because it's on the credit system of whatever version of credits they're using, whether they're diamonds, COD points, whatever it is, you have to buy the smallest package just to get enough of it or the medium package plus the smallest package or something just to have enough. And then you're going to still be with like 200 coins afterwards. And it's just going to sit there. I hate that system so much. Um, just because it makes you overspin for one, and then you're going to have that, and it's it's a tactic that works. Not <laughs> I give them that it does work for people because then you're looking at it and going, oh, because you can see it at the whatever screen that you have 200 credits. They just they're just sitting there, so you go and peruse the uh, the uh, store and go, is there anything around 200 credits so I can so I can use these? Oh well, that looks nice, but it's 300. Oh, I really like that, but that's three fifty. I guess I'll go ahead and spend five bucks for five hundred, and then you're in this other loop because then you wind up doing it again later on down the line. But yeah, that's essentially what they've done this point. <laughs> but on the stop, current feature item uh, is a car that is being sold for twelve thousand credits, which is technically just over ten bucks. But you actually need to buy two bundles of credits, five hundred, and the one one. 100 uh, credit if your balance is empty and costing you around 15 bucks. Okay, yeah. Um, I highlighted that and then I started talking. I hadn't read it. I forgot to reread it. Anyway, doesn't matter. Point is, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, but they're now being sold for nearly 10 times that by Psionic. Uh, Rocket League isn't free to play, of course. So, you know, that's another whole issue right there when it comes to non free to play games and having a store front of some kind there's another thing that you know we all get touchy about in that subject um but what fortnite had was working for them or fortnite i'm sorry <laughs> what rocket league had for them was working for them i'm not sure where i got fortnite from huh i know i don't play fortnite so <laughs> it's not on my anyway but uh, you can go to uh, Reddit here and see all the things that are going on about how, you know, this thing is worth 16K now. It used to be worth 0.5. Um, and then, of course, you've got 
talking about the mess the previous you you bought 23 keys for 23 crates you need to get 23 items now you buy 23 keys worth of credits to get one and yeah that that's going to tick off some people um i mean there, there's an argument to be made there but at the same time you know there's another argument to be made of actually seeing the item before you buy it and it's like do i really really want that because like this this should not probably be worth 16k just saying it right now that should not be worth 16k it should be worth a lot less than that um but with the old system of course you could open up 20 crates with 20 keys and you may get one or two of these things for whatever reason in those crates and then you can turn around and sell them on the in-game market and make you know more keys to open up more crates and so on and so forth um but yeah one dollar essentially could equal that but using it, it's hard for me to justify that argument to begin with to go well with loot crates i could only spend one dollar for one key therefore i could get this item potentially for a buck therefore no matter what they do put it price wise it's going to be too much um i don't buy that uh, at all I mean, I, I'm fine with things costing a little bit, but not too outrageous. I mean, seriously, they could probably still, in all out honesty, they could put said skin up, this skin, for $1 up on whatever store board they have and easily recoup all the money and time that went into making said skin for said car. Guaranteed. Easily. No problems whatsoever. It's doable. But when you got skins up there for 16, you know, practically 16 bucks here. Mm, you know, that's that's way too much. Way too much. And, and then, of course, you know, the bundle you'll have to buy. Um, what, what was the current bundles looking at right now? I think you could buy just a medium and a large and do it. I can't remember. Um, yeah, 11, 15. So yeah, you'd have to buy the $15 in order to have enough. If you got nothing, you know, that, that's a $15 skin essentially right there. And, unless you bought like three of the smaller packs or something, w would that work? No, you'd have to do four of the smaller packs. So then that would only equal 15,000. You, you get an extra 100 because you, you bought the medium pack. Um, but yeah, what really comes down to is this here. Um, but essentially, they're going to jack up the prices. This is where you get to the two steps back. They took out loot boxes. They're giving you the option to see things beforehand, whether or not you actually want to spend money on this particular item. But then at the same time, they're jacking up the price so high that is ridiculous nobody's going to want to pay for it so when they do inevitably bring it down they can go hey hey guys we listened to you we're sorry we made a mistake that you're right those were too high so instead of that you know being 16 we have lowered it to eight or to 800 or whatever see that's so much better i i don't know what we were thinking apparently we had a new intern and the intern had a typo for everything and accidentally you know times everything by two instead of actually doing the prices that we want we're sorry come buy our stuff and then people are going to flock over there and go hey look they're the good guys you know they they did something good they listened to us they didn't they they literally jacked the prices up just so they can bring it down to look like the hero because they know that nobody wanted to pay those prices for that. They did it on purpose. Anyway, that is where I'm going to leave you today. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will talk to you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.